fucking jet. She is hot. That's the best endorsement I've ever had in my life, so I'm, I'm fine now. I yeah, can, I can, I can die. You out. I was through the bus window. I fucking blew a load right there. We are backstage at the Guar. Aim on a month, Satyricon and Black Dahlia Murder is so In the toilet. So how many what have your other bands been like on this on this bill? Have they have they delivered the goods? Yeah, they've been great. Uh, they've delivered the proper amount of respect. I mean, like, I basically have had everybody sucking my dick all fucking day. I just lay there. I'm like, I don't feel so good. You gotta suck my fucking dick all the fucking goddamn day. And also, every time I say anything, tweet it immediately. You fucking fuck. I also found out that koalas are not bears. What the <laughs> fuck is up with that? Dude, you wanna know something? More people died from koalas last year than sharks. Well, I, I, yeah, because they I'll are- fuck you up. They are, they, yeah, koalas are dangerous. They are very, they, I found that out. I thought they were really cute and nice and stuff, and they're not even fucking bears. One question for you. How can we overthrow the government? Because Look, this government needs it needs to be overthrown. How do we overthrow the government? Everybody goes into the streets and they don't go to work. It's worked before. The freaking Indians in India, even though they don't call themselves that, they were led by this little bald fuck called Gandhi. And they fucking busted out many, many, many years of English colonial rule because they just said, fuck you. They didn't go to work. It was a nonviolent revolution. Now I know you people are saying, odorous, what are you saying? Nonviolence? It's like, violence is my, I'm best at that. But as far as humans are concerned, yeah, if you just don't go to work, nothing works, man. <laughs> spending a lot of time together. We are. I've decided just to focus on you. I've just decided our dearest. How many levels are we, on, are we beneath the earth right now? I think at least three or four. I feel like I'm in a fucking dungeon. Are We're we in the underground. Right We're in the underground. I like it. <laughs> what was the first show you ever went to, Odorous? Sometimes I will take my beautiful physical form and form into that of a normal human being. Yeah. Every now and then. Every now and then. And I will become that of a little bullshit punk rocker who is 18 years old and who walked into a show in uh, 1980 in Washington, D.C. It's a beautiful and, time. And uh, playing called Minor Threat. It's fucking awesome. That no one had ever heard of before. Yeah, so like, you know, it had a little bit of an effect on me. Yeah. Ian McKay's pretty special. I'm an, I'm an old school D.C. hardcore motherfucker, but I'll tell you one thing, I was never straight edge. The, those dudes hated my guts. <laughs> What's the most excessive thing you've seen in the world of rock and roll? Okay, yeah. I would have to say probably the most incredible fucked up thing I've ever seen in the history of fucking rock and roll. I was in San Francisco and it was actually a band from Australia called Lubricated Goat. Do you remember that band? You don't remember that band? They took a fucking dead goat and they put it in a freezer for about three weeks until it was frozen the fuck solid. They brought it out on stage and they hit it with a sledgehammer, and that thing broke apart like a piece of glass. And like throughout the show, all the little slivers melted. So, but basically, what you had was little goat bits everywhere. That was the most fucked up thing I've ever seen. Yeah. An Australian band as well, man. Now, we've got a good history of punk rock. You like the Saints back in the day and all that kind of shit. Yeah, I guess. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I like sure. an Australian yeah, the Saints, punk rock. I don't know. The Saints are a football team from America, as far as I'm concerned. You like football? No, I think it's stupid. It's fucking retarded. I like fucking Auss Aussie rules football a lot more. It's a lot more violent and people get a lot more fucked up. It's much more fun. It's much more fun and these people, they really do hurt themselves. It's excellent. I would like to sing a song that I wrote about koala bears. Like would you like to hear it? I really would. Koala bear assholes are tasty and sweet. Koala bear assholes, koala bear meat, koala bear assholes, and Pablo Picasso. That's it. 
Good. I like that. And by the way, Tony Abbott, Dinah File. Yeah, fucking. You know, Abbott, you, ha you haven't been shit since, Co since Costello died. I don't, you guys even get that over here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, we're going to kill him again tonight. And uh, if his head would grow back like a koala, then maybe I would spare him. It's true. But uh, He'd be better then. He'd be drunk all the time. I want next time we come here, I'm gonna fight a koala. A I bit. want you to fucking do that. I want it because Take koalas are fucked up. They're like the penguins of Australia, you know? It's just like in Antarctica, it's like, oh, penguins are so cute. They're so sweet. They're so no, they're not. They're 30 meters tall. They eat cars and Metallica never played there, you fucks. <laughs> anything onto the, the heavy metal world and the world at large. A final word before you go on stage. Yo, Guar seems to have caused a little bit of a stir down here. I don't know what the fucking problem is. Everywhere we go, we chop off world leaders' heads. So we came here and we did the same thing and people were upset about it. Australia, 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 we love you. You're the land of George Miller and fucking Road Warrior. You had a big fucking influence on the way the Guar came up. It's great to be here. We love you, motherfuckers. Let's go fuck some koala bear assholes. Wait a minute, they're not bears at all. This is Guar, this is Selma TV. And I'm Odorous Jurongas. You could eat my fucking shit out of my ass.